Hello and welcome back to Mando Media. Uh, today's video is gonna be a showcase of my new SpongeBob Dennis costume. Name's Dennis. I've been hired to exterminate you. It's not a step-by-step -step build, uh, but I'll try to explain most of the details of making this thing come to life. The thing is, I am a lazy person and I uh, didn't record everything I did on this costume. I recorded most of the building uh, for the mask, which is pretty good. The making of the last parts for this costume were all live streamed on Twitch, on Twitch TV slash Mandomedia TV. So I will show just some parts from the stream right here and pictures and work in progress pictures I have taken and other video snippets. So I hope I can illustrate the making of this build. Now where were we? I naturally started with the mask because it is the most complicated part of the costume, even though it is not even that complicated. It's just a cylinder and I thought I could easily do that out of EVA foam, so I tried wrapping EVA foam around my head to see how much I needed and cut it to shape. I cut it a bit, uh, it's, uh, I made it uh, trans tra <laughs> trapezförmig. Trapezoidal. So it's a bit pointier at the head. I'll just let the video speak for itself. After I was almost done with Dennis' head, I decided that the head was a bit too big and I had to cut off like 4 centimeters. Once the main face was completed I sanded all the edges to be a bit rounder and hit them with a torch because that makes the sanded part go smooth again. After that I hit it with some bookbinding glue which is a good and flexible base for paint. And after the glue I hit it with some Plasti Dip alternative which is an even better base and brings it all together. And also it's black which is very good because the head is already black. Please don't ask me what I was doing here. I don't know why I didn't record the Plasti Dip layer. But I recorded myself heating the whole head up. I guess I just wanted to speed up the drying process so I could paint it. Which I also didn't record. <laughs> this isn't my most comfortable mask. It only has two slits for my eyes, which are covered by the sunglasses and one hole in the mouth for breathing. This is the finished hat and now I will give you a quick rundown of the other items I have created for this costume. Since I've only shown the making of these items in the livestream and I didn't record them for the video. 
I have sculpted this skull for the belt in a crafting clay, which dries at normal temperature. And then I added this belt closing on the back, which I can tuck into my pants and then the skull will hang in front of it and does not interfere with anything. Dennis' knife is also made completely from EVA foam with an aluminium core. For the back patch I used fabric, I didn't even sew the edges because I like the rough look of it and thin foam pieces for the letters. I wasn't sure what the round things on Dennis' shoulder pads should be, so I just decided on acorn nuts, and with them screwed onto the EVA foam, I could also use the screws and screw the complete shoulder pad to the vest. And that's basically it. I also added this little easter egg, which isn't included in the original outfit, but I thought it was fun. And yeah, that's how I made my Dennis cosplay. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the cosplay in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Yeah, I did it! You got guts, kid. Uh, Too bad I gotta rip them out of you. Uh, I don't know what kind is paying you, but if you let us go, I can make it worth your while. It's gonna take a lot more than five. What is this? Uh, that, sir, is five goober dollars. Legal tender at 